Hey friends, today we are in Scranton, Pennsylvania, my hometown and also the location of my favorite TV show, The Office. I wanted to come out today and show you guys some of the amazing restaurants and taverns that they mention inside The Office like Cooper's and Poor Richard's and also give you a grand tour of the Electric City. So let's go do this. The first place I want to stop to is the pen paper building right here. And you may recognize this from the intro of the office. John Krasinski shot that intro from his cell phone when he came to visit Scranton so that he can get research for the office. And a fun fact, none of the show was shot here. There's not even a Dunder Mifflin. This is the closest thing to the paper company that's represented as Dunder Mifflin. And I just think it's amazing. They used all of the Scranton's likeness, the restaurants and landmarks. Those are really places and those are the things we're gonna explore. Scranton really embraced the office fandom and the pop culture and you're gonna see references of the office all over the city and even next to the pen paper sign they added a little Dunder Mifflin sign and I think that's just so cool so many people came here trying to find Dunder Mifflin but they didn't know it didn't actually exist so they might as well just put a little Dunder Mifflin up there the first place I want to bring you guys to is Cooper's Seafood House. And you can see, ain't no party like a Scranton party because a Scranton party don't stop. This restaurant is referenced so many times in the office. And I'm going to show you a couple of clips of my favorite scenes where they talk about it. Hi. Hello, Eric Ward. Welcome to Dunder Mifflin. I am Computron your answer to everything. I just need to check out your warehouse and then talk to your HR guy. That is pretty much the only reason that I came here today. Okay. Well, I thought I'd show you around a little bit since right. you made the trip out. And I got us reservations at Cooper's Seafood. You like lobster? You've had lobster before, right? Yeah. They make the best Maine lobster in the world. You'll love it. Mulyam in Tel Aviv is better. No, Computron. Actually, I think Cooper's is the best. You're going to love it. Are you calling me wrong? <sighs> This restaurant is themed so well and they even have shark. So I think I'm gonna be eating shark for the first time. Even though Michael does say the Maine Lobster is the best in the area. So maybe I'll look into some Maine Lobster as well. Here is Cooper's itself. They have a gigantic Captain Morgan statue right outside and then a Dunder Mifflin Paper Company flag waving. And then of course the Scranton welcomes you sign. Now the real Scranton welcomes you sign that you see in the intro of the office. We're gonna show you a little bit later on where that's at. The theming in this restaurant is so amazing. And for anyone that's big fans of the Pirates of the Caribbean, you're gonna see a lot of Pirates of the Caribbean references in here. They even play a familiar song, and I absolutely love it. From the outside, you can see there's a gigantic octopus, tons of pirates are hanging around, and then these pirates even talk to you as we get closer. I'm gonna show you a little bit right here. Reminders of his social contacts Ah, but deceitful the get Yet culture nonetheless And accustomed to Look at that Yo ho, yo ho A pirate's life for me now that we actually got to our table, this place is really fancy and they even have an office gift shop and it's all office memorabilia, even some rare memorabilia that I'm definitely going to probably buy something. We're going to show you that after we eat our dinner. Right now, I really want to get into trying that shark like I was talking about. Like I said, they have shark here, so I think I'm going to try shark for the first time. Delectable bite-sized pieces of Mako, only $9.99. And today, they're running a special on the uh, actual lobster. So twin cold water lobster tails and a cup of soup for $24.99. I guess it's time to see if they have the best main lobster. Here it is shark and it's mako and they even give you this little pin that says official shark taster cooper seafood house how amazing is that it actually looks very delicious i think we're gonna have to cut into it first i want to see what the inside looks like first there it is let's take a look see oh it's nicely lighted and breaded oh wow it's not what i thought it was gonna be looks very good and delicious 
here it goes. First time eating shark. Mako, my favorite roller coaster at SeaWorld. Hmm. That was so delicious, actually. And I feel like a lot of people always say like exotic things always taste like chicken. But to me, it kind of just tasted like fried fish. Very delicious though, and I like the breading. I like how the restaurant has a whole bunch of different decor on the walls here. Pictures, but one thing that kind of stood out to me is that Brooke Shields doll right there. You see that? It's so random. There's an actual like Brooke Shields doll. I've never seen that before. But now, I say I am official. Official shark taster. Thank you. Now that we've had the shark, it's time we have the lobster. Look at this, this is actually presented beautifully. I feel very fancy. <laughs> I haven't had much lobster in my lifetime, but I can say that I think that is the best lobster I've ever had. Honestly, it was delicious. Now I've got my lobster fix and my shark bites for the first time. We're going to give you a tour of the restaurant and check out the office gift shop and probably buy something like I said. i definitely going to walk out of here with something. This is something really cool to point out. Right here is a Dundee and it's the best friend of the office Dundee for Cooper's Seafood Restaurant. And then over here we have some real pictures of some of the stars when they came to eat here. You got Kevin and Angela right there. And I think that's like a young Angela. This is probably, yeah, I think this is prior to her actually making the office. So she must have visited here before she even like was on the office. That's really awesome. And then over here, we got Kevin and Angela again. And they're next to that Scranton welcomes you sign. And I'm gonna show you where that's at a little bit later in the video. The restaurant itself is lined with historical Scranton photos and office characters. Like how crazy is that? Take a look at all those old pictures of Scranton, and then right below it, we got some friends enjoying some chili and a now hiring sign. How awesome is that? The fact that Kevin has a bowl of chili is just amazing. I really, really like it. And Michael looks like he's got a shrimp on his fork. That is so cool, but they are hiring. So if you want to come work here, here is Dwight right there next to the ATM. Lots of cool Zoltar machines, but my favorite has to be Stanley over here because he's got a pretzel and a beer. Look at this. You know Stanley loves pretzels. Is that a threat level midnight? Look at that. That is so awesome. Threat level midnight. I know a lot of people haven't watched The Office before and maybe you guys are just watching this because you like to watch my videos, but if you haven't watched The Office, I'll try to point out things, but a lot of the things that they sell in here are really amazing and it's for the fans of The Office. So it's gonna be hard to know what I'm talking about, but The Office fans, they will know. Take a look at this. How awesome. They have the Dwight Schrute manager picture back there. And then over here, look at look at Jim and his family. How awesome is that? You can buy that. This is really cool. The worst thing about prison was the Dementors. This is so cool. They have so many amazing things. These are blueprints for the office itself. You can actually get a signed copy from the cast. And they even sell copies of the Adventures of Jim Helper. These magnets are amazing. Take a look at Kevin eating the broccoli. Oh, it cracks me up. Oh wow, I love everything in here. I'm not too sure what I would get. I really do love the Dwight Schrute manager picture. They have this hanging in his office after he does become manager. And then <laughs> Scranton Area Paper Company, Dunder Mifflin apologized to value client. Some companies still know how business is done. Honestly, I think I need to get this just because it says Hell Convention in town. Sorry, all booked up. This is amazing. I'm definitely getting the newspaper. It's going home with me. I love it so much. I think I'm going to ship it to myself because I flew up here and I want to bring it in my bag. This is the restaurant itself and take a look at the bar. Not only do they represent the office in here, but another popular sitcom at the end there. I love it. So well themed in here. And I like these little lights. Coopers. 
now we're gonna head on out and head on over to where that Scranton welcomes you sign is at uh, they had to move it because too many people were stopping to get photos and I'll tell you the story behind it and then we're gonna hit up our next spot a quick pit stop on our way to our next destination I wanted to show you the electric city sign so that's why they actually Scranton the electric city that's why they say that is because there's a gigantic electric city sign and that's the name for Scranton and it's right next to the Lackawanna County Courthouse which is a beautiful building look at that on the side of the courthouse they have Jason Miller who is the actor the priest in the exorcist his ashes are right on the other side of this courthouse he has a bust with his ashes he was born and raised in Scranton himself and I think that's crazy a little exorcist uh, trivia for you there now we're gonna make our way up into the Steamtown Mall. And a fun fact here, if you're a fan of Dan Bell and his abandoned mall series, this mall was featured on one of those episodes because it is abandoned, like there is nothing here anymore. All the stores are just closed down. Looks like they have an electric city dentistry. And then that's about it. Everything else is closed. Oh no, they have an eye dropped and a no question. Doing some good things here. If you're looking for the Scranton welcomes you sign, it's up on the second floor, so we gotta go up another level, and uh, that's where it's gonna be at. Like I said, that's where they put it, so people can take pictures with it and not get hit by cars. Here it is. Scranton welcomes you, embracing our people, our traditions, and our future. And uh, I think it's great that it's here. It's really nice, and you don't actually have to like stop your car in the middle of traffic and hop out and take a quick photo. You can just snap a quick selfie and uh, enjoy the rest of your day at the mall. Speaking of the mall, and like I said, it's pretty abandoned here. There is a store called Fill Your Bags that sells a whole bunch of Dunder Mifflin merchandise, kind of like how Cooper's was. So we'll check that one out real quick and just see what they have. But of course, I gotta get my selfie. I wasn't too sure if that was the store we needed to be going to, but there's a gigantic sign that says, get your Dunder Mifflin merchandise here. So it looks like we're heading over there. I already left home with the Scranton Times newspaper clipping that said uh, the Hell Convention. So that was kind of my gift for today. Unless I find something better in here, who knows? But take a look at that, a gigantic Dunder Mifflin sign. And that's the one that said, get your Dunder Mifflin merch here. Looks like they have a bunch of different t-shirts. I like this one that says Kevin's Famous Chili. They actually have a ramen cooker that says Kevin's Famous Chili on it as well. Very cool stuff here. I like it a lot. It looks like this stuff is kind of made itself here. I see they have World's Best Bosses mugs. This one straight out of Scranton. A couple shot glasses, hoodies. I like it. It's very nice. Ooh. This one is interesting. The Michael Scott ink. How cool is that? $19.99. A lot of people don't know Michael Scott started his own paper company and that was one of the names. He actually has tons of names. There might not be a lot inside that store and actually there might not be a lot of stores inside the mall itself, but I'll tell you one thing they got and it's actually a little bit of a shocker. An electric city aquarium. They have a gigantic aquarium inside of a mall. This is something new, but who would have guessed that they put a, an aquarium in here? Also, is that a DeLorean down there? Okay, I think I see a DeLorean peeking out from the side. What the heck is happening in this mall? For some reason, they've got all these boarded up stores, but yet they have an aquarium and a DeLorean and also an Irish boxing club. A secret Irish boxing club inside the mall. And like I said, a DeLorean. Things are just so strange in this mall. It's awesome though, I love it. I'm not too sure if this bad boy can get up to 88 miles per hour with this small stretch of mall space, but if it can, it's going somewhere. They don't need roads. Now it's time we leave the mall and maybe go get ourselves some pizza from everybody's favorite pizza guy, Alfredo. You just ordered from your favorite pizza place, Alfredo. Wait, Alfredo's Pizza Cafe or Pizza by Alfredo? Same thing. No, no, no. 
Here we are, Alfredo's Pizza and Restaurant. Now, there's not two Alfredo's. In the TV show, they say Pizza by Alfredo and then Alfredo's Cafe. This is the better one, the one that Kevin actually likes and actually the whole office likes. The other Alfredo's was Pizza by Alfredo. And then this one, of course, is Alfredo's Cafe, which is the good pizza. And I'm happy we're here. We're gonna try some pizza. Of course, the Prez already came here and he actually did a review. And I'm not too sure what he ranked it, but we're gonna keep it to whatever his was. When you open up the menu, it says home of the good pizza as seen on the office. How cool is that? Like, I, I just love opening up things and seeing the office reference all over this beautiful city. I just had a double check and yeah, the Prez, one bite, everyone knows the rules, gave it a 7-4, but he got the award-winning like square pizza, the thin, the thick crust. I think we are gonna get the round. I mean, I think that's the one we're gonna go with because I like round pizza a little bit better than the thick pizza. Uh, it has to do with the cheese and the dough. So we're gonna get the round, a complete opposite, and 7-4, uh, I mean, he's the best. I like how they have Alfredo's Pizza Cafe all over the windows on the inside. So outside, it says Alfredo's Pizza Restaurant. I can't remember whether or not it's always been Alfredo's Pizza Cafe, or if they actually decided to just change their name on certain things inside here, just so that it resembles the office. It also seems everywhere we go that actually has like an office tie-in, they always have office memorabilia. So on the way out, I'm gonna show you all the cool pizza by Alfredo and also Alfredo Cafe's Pizza, like memorabilia, they have their t-shirts, mugs, and it's really awesome. So we'll show that on the way, but now the pizza is coming. Oh yeah, take a look at this pizza. Now this is the pizza we've been looking for, not that horrible pizza. Oh, how are we gonna get the string? Uh oh, oh boy. <laughs> We're gonna let it down, let it down slowly. Perfect. Oh yeah, this is it right here. Look at that, look at that fold. I'm excited. I bet you it's definitely not like eating a hot circle of garbage. This is the real stuff right here. It's bad. It's real bad. It's like eating a hot circle of garbage. I definitely suggest if you get the pizza, go with the round. I mean, if you're a big square pizza fanatic, then square pizza is the way to go, but I like this so much better. Very saucy. I like my pizza saucy. Very saucy. <laughs> Look at all that cheese on there. Oh, you're playing a dangerous game there, Bon Bon. Dangerous game here, dangerous game. Flop it. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> much much too good so we're gonna end up taking some pizza home with us i mean i really love that pizza but we already had cooper's earlier and a whole tray of pizza between two people just not feasible my mom actually uh had to go home for the night uh so it's just me and bonnie here but we did a pretty good job only taking like two slices maybe three slices home look at all this amazing merchandise they have home of the good pizza as seen as the office they even have like world's best boss mugs and then just cool alfredo's t-shirt and office memorabilia very nifty our next stop or destination is probably gonna be my favorite and that is Poor Richard's. This place is mentioned so much in the office throughout all the seasons. Anytime they talk about drinks after, they always say we're going to Poor Richard's. I think Bob Vance from Vance Refrigeration was like, come on everyone, Poor Richard's first round is on me. Many scenes actually take place in Poor Richard's and we're gonna actually go there and get ourselves a drink. And it's actually located in an unlikely spot. It's not a standalone like tavern or pub. It's inside a bowling alley, Southside Bowl right here. And they actually have like that little bar area like every other bowling alley has. And it's called Poor Richards. I often wonder if Ryan worked at Southside Bowl and this is where Michael came to actually recruit him to come join the Michael Scott Paper Company. And that's when he stole a whole bunch of bowling shoes. I would like a pair of size nine, please. It's Michael. Swamps, Michael. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to Sally in lane 27. Okay. Imagine a company that has no memory of your past misconduct because they have no files. 
I was the youngest VP in company history. More recently, he worked in a bowling alley. Tell one of your funny bowling alley stories. Um, this is such a cool bar. And actually, I used to come here before the show actually existed. I remember coming and they actually had karaoke. Like, isn't that amazing? I, I don't know if I came here before the show existed or before I started watching it. Regardless, I knew Poor Richards before The Office knew Poor Richards. Here it is. Take a look at the sign right there, Poor Richards Pub. I also like how they have the Stay 60 Feet Away and Don't Touch Me sign. And it's Michael Scott and then right at the bottom, that's what she said. <laughs> how funny is that? This place is so awesome though. And they also have a featured drink, which is The Office. That's what she said. Vodka, peach schnapps, grenadine, and pineapple juice, and 7-Up. Remember that casino night about a month before we were supposed to get married? I kissed Jim. What? He told me how he felt, and I guess I had feelings too, and we kissed. Jim came on to you? Just listen. No, I am listening. That's the problem. I'm listening. Don't yell. Don't yell? <laughs> Of course, if you come to a bar like this and they have a featured drink called a That's What She Said, you're gonna have to order it. Just gonna have to get it. There it is, the That's What She Said drink. And I like on the back, it says, ain't no party like a Scranton party because a Scranton party don't stop, the office. So cool. And when you order the drink, you get this cup to keep. And Bonnie, there you go. Thank you, give it a sip. Tell me how it tastes. <laughs> it's good? It's good. <laughs> so, I gotta try it. Here we go. Ooh, that's good. It's very sweet. Uh, how you say uh, it's a uh, very, very tropical -y. Very tropical -y? I like it. How you say? How you say? <laughs> They also sell these amazing pint glasses, Poor Richards, and then on the back it says the same thing. I like it. So you can either get it in a pint glass or you can get it in a clear like cocktail glass or cup. The cool thing about Poor Richards is there are two different altercations that happens with Roy, Pam, and Jim inside the bar itself. The first one is the one you already seen where uh, Pam tells Roy that Jim kissed her and then he trashed the bar with his brother. But then the second one, I'm gonna show you in a second, is when Jim wins an auction to go out with the, go out with the guys from the warehouse for a drink and they come here and they meet Roy and that's when Jim tells Roy he engaged he got engaged to Pam. How funny is that? Like it's it's, it's so awesome. Um, so Daryl and the boys in the hood in the warehouse have graciously donated to uh, go out for a beer with them right now. You know what? I'm actually going to bid on this. I'm going to start the bidding because this is something that I've dreamt of. Mike, we can't do this. Conflict of interest. Five dollars. So to uh, Jim. Okay. Okay. So. Have fun, you guys. Hopper? What's up, Roy? Hey, man. Relax, man. I'm not gonna hit you. Oh, I wouldn't. <clears throat> you good? I'm good. How you doing? I'm good. Okay. Hey, Daryl. What's happening? Oh, hey, what's up, guys? What's up, man? How you been? What's going on with Pam? Oh, she's good, actually. Yeah? She's, uh, she's in New York. She's at art school. Really? Yeah, she's doing really well. Huh. If she's engaged, um, to me. <laughs> Congrats, man. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate that. And that is gonna do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this little tour of my hometown. And I really love Poor Richards. It's such a cool, relaxed atmosphere. I got my little pint glass to take home with me. <laughs> Ain't no party like a Scranton party because a Scranton party don't stop. I absolutely love it. Anywho's, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed all the office references. If you haven't seen the show, check it out. It is really a funny show. My mask is upside down now. Would you look at that? Anywho's. We'll see you next time. Bye.